guys, so this is how to take care of your pet hamster. I'm trying to be loud because when I always upload videos, okay, I'll be quiet. So when I always upload videos, for some reason, I feel like I'm whispering. You probably didn't hear me when I'm whispering, to be honest. So, yeah. let's get into the video, guys. Okay, that hurts. I can't breathe. <gasps> I am better. So this is how to, by the way, this is how to take pet care of your pet hamster. I got this um, piece of felt at Hobby Lobby. It's two yards long and it was $10. So now I use it as my blankie. So yeah, so first, how I like I just my new chair, my gaming chair. I always play Xbox. So my dad was like, so my dad was like, how about we buy her a chair? So then I put my phone there, and then my foot, my little ankle, just stabs right into it. And I was like, wait, ow. So yeah. So I mean, I would not recommend. I would not recommend getting your hamster, if it's like a regular hamster, get it a big cage, like the ones that grow big. If it's a dwarf hamster that's only grows to this uh, length, I would suggest getting either a cage like this, like this, so like this. This long one, or more bigger, or another one like this. Let me go get it fast. Mm -hmm. Or a cage like that. That's her old cage. It was broken, so yeah, I would not recommend that exact cage from Walmart. But I mean, I would recommend something like it for your dwarf hamster. So, yeah. After you have that done, here's what I would recommend. Do not, do not buy this kind of hay. Find it. This kind of hay. Let me This kind of hay, like pine straw. -y. It will hurt their little limbs and legs, whatever you want to call it. I would recommend getting paper, not straw, kind of hay. See how it's softer. I would recommend getting that. Uh, not from, I mean, Pet Supply Plus sells it. No shout outs, because, yeah. Like, I do do shout outs on my channel, but, man, forget about that. So, Pet Supplies, Supply Plus does have very good bedding, but they're all, they are expensive. Let me go shut my door. It's getting me so mad. Yes, I know. <sighs> My room used to be clean. But now it ain't, so. Wait, no. Okay. That's hot. So now, I'm going to show you how, what to get for your hamster. So, I would not recommend the hay and stuff. Like, I would get, like, soft hay, not that hard hay. That, that would hurt. So, next, the food I would recommend. I would not recommend, like, other food than this. I just recommend this food. This kind of food. It's almost halfway used. She loves it so much. I'm going to show you it. I'll turn it. So I would 
would recommend that. And then, um, of course, you're going to ask, Why, Maven, how, why don't you do the treats? And that's what I'm about to do. So, menu, special rewards, swims with carrot, those, cocoa. She's literally, there's only four more. It comes with like six of them. And you should see her. I'm going to show you to her. You, that, you to her. Yeah, I said it right. You. So now, after you have that, I would not recommend one of these glass ones. No water came out. And like, none. I know it's empty, but, like, seriously, take my word for it. We bought one of these. It was, like, $9 at Pets at Five Plus. And it don't even work. So we bought a $50 cage. With my dad. He's really nice. So the cage will come with the water bowl. You can see it in the very back. Like that kind of water bowl, I would recommend. So then food. Oh, there's Coco. There's my baby Coco. There's Laura, my baby. Okay. So, I would recommend giving hamsters, even though they're little, a lot of space to roam. Like, even if they're a dwarf, at least give them that size. I still, I would recommend just a little bit bigger, but that's the only size they had. So, that was my only option. So, then, you should have some bedtime supply. You should have, like I have, like, a little container full of her stuff. Or your hamster stuff. Wait. Let me turn the camera. Camera. Okay, I got that. So there's nothing in bedtime supplies because I already put it in her thing. So you should have at least some bedtime supplies for them. And then uh, you should have some cleaning and play supplies. So there should be stuff for you to clean their cage and some play stuff with them. And then your extra stuff and your bedtime stuff and whatever. So then after you have all that done, I would not recommend using like paper towels for them to play with because that, that could go down your throat and kill them. I would recommend some cardboard and a sock. So here's what I do. Let me get it out. I got my teddy teddy bean. I just gotta take something out. Thank you very much. I, I'm going to put it back. So see this? It's like a little tunnel. So, here's how you make it. You get some cardboard. You get, like, a toilet, a toilet paper roll. No, paper toilet. The thing you use, toilet paper. TP, the thing you use to wipe your freaking butt. Get the roll from it. Then get an extra sock. Then line that sock up with it like put the sock over it cut out a little thing right here put it out right here get a glue gun glue it together boom then once you have your hamster or just give it to your hamster then come here coco i'm sorry i would recommend giving if you do have a dwarf hamster only for dwarf hamsters getting a bed like this size I forgot to close her cage. That's one mistake. So, see this, like, bigger, if you, only for dwarf hamsters, bigger than what they are, like, very bigger. Normal hamsters, when they're a baby, way bigger, or just almost the size of them. Okay, I'm going to put that back now. Okay. There you go, my sweet man. No, okay. To make your burrow. By the way, the reason why you need some hay is because they love to make burrows. So they're gonna make burrows. So then you need some food. You need a food bowl. You need a very sturdy one too. I'm giving my old um, little cage to my friend Sophia. By the way. Shout out to her, by the way. By the way, Sophia is 
Okay, I'll tell you in the other video. So, because this is like a major secret. So you're going to have to watch the other video to find out. Like, my hair today is so matted, but that's not a part of the video. So, the other thing I have is at least two treats. She's had this thing for years. And with her little teeth, she's actually done a bunch. I'd recommend this, definitely. Okay! Sorry for my singing. That's not really my singing. If I get to... Hmm. I'm at... If I get to 900 subscribers, I will do a... My actual singing. I get so embarrassed from that. Like, my... I'm gonna confess something. It's gonna. Okay, I'll tell it in another video. I'm gonna tell you who my crush is at school. So. Yeah. Now I'm gonna recommend you get a dwarf hamster. I'm gonna show you those. I touched him on my toes, his booty. His booty are full too bad. <laughs> So, I would recommend hamsters for kids, grown-ups, if you're watching this, I would recommend this for your kid. These, they're very cute, especially the dwarf hamsters, because they're littler and easier to take care of. But I'd say, like, older kids, like, ages 8, 10, or older. Not like other kids, because uh, other kids younger than that will be scared of it. And it does move around a lot. He's a girl, by the way. And I would definitely not recommend this if you have a cat that comes in your child's room. So, yeah. Yeah. Then you can put them on your head or anything. So I would definitely recommend dwarf hamsters. Want you to go back on my body again? Okay. And they can even fit in your pocket. Okay, you're just chilling. Okay, come on. So, yeah, that's how to care for your hamster. Especially for.